Hey everyone, welcome to another video in this tutorial series about building a chat app the right way. In this video, we'll continue to look at our message service, focusing on encrypting our messages so that our text, plain text is not revealed in our database, but we have some form of encryption happening while the messages are transmitted. So we'll get right into it uh, to creating our message service. So first we want to go to our pubspec yaml file and we are going to add a package known as encrypt. So we add the encrypt package here and we want version 4.1. Since version 4.5 is updated for null safety and it uses an updated version of crypto that conflicts with our rethink DB. So we we'll use version 4.1.0. 4 Go ahead and save that. And now our package install, we go inside of our source services and we're going to create another folder called encryption. And in that folder, we'll have our service contract and our service implementation. So I'm just gonna call this encryption contract. And this, as you know, will be an abstraction that behaves like an interface or the contract for our encryption service. So I encryption. And we want two methods here. We want a method to encrypt our data. So we'll have the string text, that's the plain text. And we'll have also another string decrypt, which will accept the encrypted text and return the plain text from that. So let us go ahead now then and create our service. So encryption service. Uh, encryption service this will implement our I encryption just go ahead and import the methods then for our dependencies we'll be using the encryptor from our encrypt package so I'm just gonna say encryptor And in all order to use encryptor, right? Since we'll be using the AES encryption, we will need an initial vector or an IV. So from the package again, I'm gonna say IV from length, and I'm gonna give it a length of 16. And how encryption works, it can be very resource um, heavy it can consume a lot of processing power so depending on how tight we want the encryption to be would add a larger value for our initial vector but for now 16 will suffice so our encryption service and accept our encryptor so now inside of our just gonna remove that inside of our decrypt method just gonna say final encrypt which is the encrypted text 
equal encrypted, which is a, another method from our encrypt package. And I'm just gonna say from base64, because we will be encrypting our text in base64 encoding. And then we'll just pass in the encrypted text. And then we can say return encryptor and we will ask it to decrypt our encrypted text and we will pass in the initial vector so there we have our decryptor and now for our encryptor we'll Head. and this one is pretty simple we will just say encryptor encrypt and we'll pass in our plain text along with the IV or initial vector then we'll return base 64 so we'll encrypt it and return the base64 encoded string for that encryption. So there we have our encryption service, pretty simple service. Now we'll go into our test and wire up a test for this. So encryption service test. So our system under test is of type I encryption. So inside of our setup method, we're gonna go ahead and configure that. So final encryptor. Would be encryptor from again, from the encrypt package. And the type of encryption that we want is AES. So that's from the package. And then our key will be again from length and this time 32. And depending on the integer for the bytes that we enter, determine how strong or encryption algorithm will be but the stronger the encryption algorithm the more resource intensive it is so for something like this that is done on the device and not on the server side then it's good to find a middle ground a balanced ground and that is one of the reasons why whatsapp was acquired by facebook because what WhatsApp encryption algorithm was pretty efficient for devices. So we have our encryption, we have, so we say our encryption service, and there we pass in our encryptor. So now, we can just write our test. So the first test is that it encrypts the plain text. So the text is, this is a message. That's the text, and I'm just for our, our base 64 check. I'm gonna use a regular expression that 
basically checks if a text is base64 encoded. And I'm just going to copy and paste that regular expression. So there is our x expression or reg, reg x. So now I can say encrypted equal to sut encrypt and I'll pass in the plain text and for my expectation I can say expect that base64 has match and I pass my encrypted here and this will check that the encrypted value or the return value is actually base64 encoded so if we go ahead and run our test now there our encryption is working as it should that is great so we can go ahead and write our decryption so it decrypts the encrypted text so again our text final text this is a message we'll go ahead final encrypted equal to sut let's just encrypt the text first then final decrypted equal sut decrypt the encrypted text so now i expect that my decrypted text should be the same as my original text so now if i go ahead and run that then there we have our test passing now we have our decryption algorithm also working and our encryption also working and we can go ahead and run both just to see that they are working together and there we have it so now we need to get our encryption as a part of our message so inside of our message service let us go ahead and add our encryption and we'll pass this inside the controller and we'll say when we are going to insert our record or message into the database we'll encrypt our message so i'm just gonna say message data will be message to json here and i'm just gonna override the contents of the json to be the encryption encrypted base64 uh, text so i'm just gonna say data contents equal to encryption dot encrypt and pass in data contents or simply message contents and then here we'll insert our data and similarly for our message when we are converting our feed data to message we need to go ahead and decrypt our message content so i'm just gonna get again say var data 
this would be feed data new val then I'm gonna say var data contents equal to our encryption service decrypt and we are going to decrypt data contents then we'll just pass our data into the method to create our message object so inside of our message tests let us go ahead and create our encryption service so final encryption encryption service and we'll pass in encryptor which is type AES with a key from length 32 then we'll pass our encryption into our service So now when we send our message, then it should be encrypted. And I'm just gonna set a breakpoint here and debug and check our reefing database to ensure that it is actually encrypting the message that is sent to the database. So if I set the breakpoint here instead, and I go ahead inside my DB tables messages. As you can see, the contents is encrypted, and that is exactly what we want. So that means that our message encryption is working as it should. So now for our decryption, I'm just gonna go inside of this test. What I'm going to do is to pull out the message contents into a variable. So here, pull out this is a message inside the contents. And then inside my expectation, I'll go ahead and say expect that the message contents must be equal to this is a message. So that if it is decrypted, then it should be the very same thing as what was sent. So if we go ahead and run that, then we can see that our test is passing and that's great. So we have our encryption service up and running and we have it a part of our message service and now we are encrypting our messages that are going to the database. We are also decrypting, decrypting our messages coming into the app so that we might display it to the user in plain text. So that's it for this video. This one was short. In the next video, we'll be looking at our receipt service uh, and treating with receipts when a message is delivered, whether it is seen, unseen, or sent, that kind of thing. So thank you for tuning in and see you in the next one. And the code is in our GitHub repository, so you can check it out from there and view it. So thank you guys and see you in the next video.